unlimited. That's the word that defines Starship's potential. And at the heart of it all lies the ever-evolving Raptor engine. For more than a year, we've been waiting for Raptor 3, the engine set to power Starship's first true orbital flights, and even lunar missions, expected to launch for the first time in early 2026. But if you think that's where the story ends, think again. SpaceX is already teasing something even bigger. The next generation upgrade we're calling Raptor 4, a new chapter in power, performance, and design. So how powerful is it? What's new? And when will we see it fly? Let's find out right here on today's Tech Map episode. All right, so here's the thing. 2026 is shaping up to be a huge year for Starship. We're talking about the first orbital flights, real payload missions, propellant transfers, and a whole lot more. And all of that is going to be handled by Starship's next big upgrade, version 3. This version will run on the Raptor 3 engine, and honestly, this thing is a powerhouse. It cranks out about 280 tons of thrust and uses what's called a full-flow staged combustion cycle. In simple terms, that means it's incredibly efficient, squeezing out every bit of performance it can. On top of that, it's been redesigned to be simpler and more reliable. It doesn't even need a heat shield anymore, which is wild when you think about it. Raptor 3 isn't just about power, though. It's built for reusability and quick turnaround, which makes it perfect for deep space missions where efficiency and dependability really matter. But here's the question. With all these improvements, should SpaceX take a breather? You know, stick with Raptor 3 for a while and focus on scaling up Starship operations? Well, if you've been watching SpaceX for any length of time, you can probably guess the answer. They don't stop. In late 2024, Elon Musk already hinted at what's coming next, Raptor version 4. So yeah, just when it seems like they've hit the limit, they find a way to push even further. That's SpaceX for you. Raptor 4 is about to take things to a whole new level. It's expected to break past the 300-ton mark, hitting around 330 tons of thrust. That's roughly 18% more power than Raptor 3. Pretty wild, right? Now, if Starship sticks with its current setup, a super heavy booster loaded with 33 Raptor 4 engines could pump out about 10,890 tons of total thrust at liftoff. To put that in perspective, that's more than three times the power of the Saturn V, the rocket that took humans to the moon. But here's where it gets even crazier. What if they tweak the design a bit and go for 35 engines instead of 33? Well, that total jumps to over 11,500 tons of thrust at liftoff. That's an almost unbelievable amount of power. In this upgraded version, Starship would also pack nine sea-level engines and three vacuum engines in the upper stage, pushing the ship's total liftoff thrust to over 3,000 tons. That means it would come close to matching Saturn V's lift capability and actually surpass every other rocket in history, past or present. So yeah, the goal with Raptor 4 is pretty clear. Raw, unstoppable power. And that's exactly why, for Elon Musk, Raptor 3 was never going to be the end of the story. With Raptor 4 stepping up the thrust, Starship's whole game changes. It can carry heavier payloads and pack in more propellant per flight, which means better fuel economy on those long, deep space trips. In simple terms, that could translate to fewer tanker launches needed to fully refuel a Starship heading for places like Mars, or even farther out. To give you an idea, right now NASA's Artemis III mission is estimated to need around 15 Starship tanker flights to pull off a full refueling. That's mostly because the current Raptor 3 engines limit how much each tanker can lift. But if those tankers, or the Starship HLS variant, were upgraded to Raptor 4s with roughly 330 tons of thrust each, things change fast. Each flight could haul more propellant, cutting down the total number of launches needed. And it's not just about raw power. Raptor 4 is also getting smarter under the hood. 
the engine's efficiency has been improved through all kinds of refinements. Simpler design, higher chamber pressure, and better manufacturing methods like advanced 3D printing. The result is an engine that burns less fuel for the same performance. That means Starship would need less propellant in orbit to hit the same mission goals, which ultimately reduces how many refueling flights have to happen in the first place. Raptor 3 and the Raptor 4 vacuum variant will feature an oversized nozzle, which could reach a specific impulse of 380 seconds. Meanwhile, Raptor 3 is projected to hit a chamber pressure of 350 bar, already the highest of any operational engine. Raptor 4 could push this benchmark even higher. SpaceX's whole approach is built around iteration. They test, learn, tweak, and test again. Every flight gives them a mountain of data, and that data drives constant improvement. Over time, they've been able to strip away unnecessary sensors and parts because they understand exactly how the engine behaves. 3D printing plays a huge role here, too. It lets engineers build internal channels right into the engine structure itself, which means fewer external pipes and wires cluttering things up. You can really see this evolution from Raptor 1 through Raptor 3. Each version gets lighter, cleaner, and more refined. And Raptor 4 is absolutely following that same path. One of the biggest changes came with Raptor 3. The old heavy heat shield? Gone. Instead, the engine's been redesigned to handle high temperatures on its own. They moved a lot of sensitive parts inside the engine where they're naturally shielded from heat. That means fewer exposed joints, fewer covers, and less insulation needed. Under the hood, improvements in turbo machinery and the combustion chamber allow the engine to handle greater stress and higher temperatures. The cooling systems, which were already upgraded in Raptor 3, are getting pushed even further in Raptor 4. These systems are what keep the engine safe under intense heat and pressure, boosting both durability and performance. And here's the thing. By simplifying the design, SpaceX also boosts reliability. Fewer parts mean fewer potential failure points, and a cleaner layout makes it easier to build and reuse. That increased durability lets Raptor 4 run longer, sustained burns with less stress on each engine. The result? More efficient in-orbit refueling, fewer cycles needed, and smoother operations for deep space missions. Simplification doesn't just make things cleaner, it makes them faster and cheaper to build, too. Back when SpaceX was producing Raptor 1, each engine took about 11 days to make. Then came Raptor 2, and that timeline dropped to just two days, and eventually only one. SpaceX hit that milestone in late 2022, and it's a safe bet that production speed has only gotten better since then. We don't have official numbers for Raptor 3's manufacturing rate yet, but here's what we do know. By May, the 20th Raptor 3 had already been spotted, less than a year after the very first one debuted in August. That kind of pace shows real momentum, and it'll likely ramp up even faster as production facilities expand. This rapid progress isn't just impressive, it's vital to SpaceX's goal of making Starship a high-frequency launch system. A simpler engine design means fewer parts to inspect, fewer components to replace, and less post-flight maintenance overall. And that directly translates to quicker turnarounds between flights. If Starship's going to hit full reusability and fly regularly, this kind of efficiency is key. Right now, the record for Raptor reuse stands at three flights with the Raptor Vive 2-314 engine. But that's just the beginning. As new versions roll out and the tech keeps improving, we'll almost certainly see engines fly many more times before needing a full overhaul. All of this pays off in cost, too. Manufacturing, operation, and maintenance are becoming faster and more streamlined, which drives prices way down. Current estimates put a Raptor engine somewhere between $1 and $2 million, 
which is already low by rocket engine standards. But with Raptor 3, that could drop to around $600,000, or even $500,000 per engine. Combine that kind of affordability with high performance and rapid reusability, and it's clear why the Raptor family has become one of the most remarkable engines in the industry. If things go according to plan, Raptor 3 should begin real flight testing in early 2026, and Raptor 4 will likely follow about a year later, around early 2027. That timing lines up with the expected debut of Starship's fourth generation, which Elon Musk mentioned during his technical update presentation just before Flight 10. According to Musk's updates, Starship version 4 could reach about 150 meters in height and weigh around 7,500 tons. Most of that size increase comes from a boost in pressurized volume, the livable space for astronauts in the crewed version. The upper stage has reportedly grown from 52.1 meters to around 62 meters tall. That is nearly a 10 meter increase, roughly the height of a three-story building. This extra height means more room inside, which helps explain how the Starship 4 crewed variant could have more than 1,000 cubic meters of pressurized volume. That would be around 10% more living space than the International Space Station. In practical terms, that extra room could let Starship 4 carry 6 to 12 astronauts on missions to the Moon or Mars, giving them more space to move, sleep, and work comfortably. It also allows for more science equipment, food, and supplies, which is especially important for long missions where resupply is difficult. Since Starship is reusable, this larger interior could even turn it into a mini space station that can be launched regularly, supporting humans living in orbit or on other planets. It represents a major step toward long-term human exploration beyond Earth. When it comes to capability, Starship version 4 is expected to carry over 200 tons to orbit. The increase in height also means more fuel capacity. The Super Heavy booster will carry about 4,050 tons of fuel, which is 800 tons more than booster version 1 and 400 tons more than version 3. The ship will hold about 2,300 tons of fuel, which is 1,100 tons more than version 1 and 700 tons more than version 3. The engines are getting an upgrade as well. Raptor 4 will not only be more powerful, but also greater in number. According to an update from Elon Musk in August, Starship version 4 will have 42 engines in total, with three additional Raptor vacuum engines added to the upper stage. Taken together, these improvements make Starship 4 a major leap forward. It will be bigger, stronger, and more capable of carrying people and cargo to the moon, Mars, and beyond.